Hi there, this is a screener showing how to create transparent tape in PowerPoint. I had to create this element uh, for one of the e-learning courses I was developing, and here's the result of it, three pieces of transparent tape. I've also, um, that's just over a regular gradient background. Here's the exact same thing over a wood grain background, just to show you that transparent effect, which really punches through on a wood grain background. Um, here's a jaggy edge piece of tape, and here's a straight edge piece of tape. Um, I've also created a, another uh, image here of just clouds and it's sitting on top of clouds. So it kind of works on a number of different backgrounds, both light and dark and textured. So to create this piece of tape, what you want to do is uh, go up into your uh, view menu and zoom up quite a bit. In this case, I'm going to zoom up to 400% because uh, we're going to do some fairly detailed editing. And I'm going to go in and start creating this piece of tape right away by using my rectangle tool, drawing in a rectangle, right clicking, choosing Format Shape, and then adjusting the line. We do want a line, but we want it to be subtle. So a light gray color and a fairly thin um, outline is uh, will work just nicely to create a nice edge. Um, then the gradient fill is really what creates that uh, tape effect. So gradient fill, and you can see that it's already showing the effect here because I've done this previously, but let's step through it. So it's a linear fill. The direction can either be linear right or linear left, either will work and there are three gradient stops. Each of the three stops are using the same color. So the, the color is white and it's just the default background one. Stop number one has a position of zero and transparency of zero. Stop number two has a position of 50, transparency of 70. And stop number three has a position of 100 and transparency of 20. And that's it. And you can adjust these values um, to your liking, but that'll give you the basic effect. When you close, you can see that you've created that straight-edged piece of tape. So to create the jaggy edge, um, you double-click on that object, and in the ribbon, choose the Edit Shape menu, Convert to Freeform, choose that menu again, and choose Edit Points. And what that does is it brings up handles on the edges of the object so that you can do uh, f um, perform some finer control of the object itself and actually distort its shape quite a bit uh, by adding and deleting what they call points or these handles. And what we want to do is we want to add in points on the right and the left edge to create these peaks and valleys. So you have to click right on the edge of the, of the object and right click. Um, let's see, and if you don't do it right on the edge, you'll get the other menu. But anyway, right click there, add a point. And I'm just going to go in and add a couple of points. You can see that this starts to punch out and do, do kind of fun things right away. Um, and that's fine. So just to add a few points in, I'll do it on both sides. And one more. There we go. So uh, now to create the peaks and valleys, all you're doing basically is just moving these handles around. Um, I use the Alt key with clicking and dragging to do this because it gives me a little bit more control and bypasses the sticking to grid lines. Um, so Alt and I'll just move down uh, this handle to create the uh, first valley and move over this handle to create the first peak. I need another valley in here and then um, to do that I have to add in a point and here's a valley and then here's a peak and I need one more valley in here, so I'm just going to right click, add a point, and I'm going to bring that down to create a valley. And then this very last one, I'm just going to drag it down a little bit. So that kind of creates a bit of a jaggy effect. And again, you can, you can um, uh, manipulate this and move these points around to your liking. And you want to repeat this on the other side. So you're just going through and creating your valleys and your peaks. And I'm just going to move that over a bit more. I need another point in here to create a valley. Uh, here's a peak. And then I'm going to create another valley down here and I'm going to slide this one back. So it's, and again, as you can see this one's off a bit, so uh, there's, there you can kind of manipulate this around. So it creates a, the general effect. And if you uh, view back out to window, you can see that there's your piece of tape. So that was the original, I'll just delete that, and here's the piece of tape that was just created. So you can size this, um, you can rotate it, so if you wanted it to be on an edge like this, you could rotate and duplicate. Um, at this point you could also save it out as a picture, and then as a PNG, and then you can bring it back in. If you do that, um, it, gives you a f it gives you a few more op um, options to work with it. So this is the piece of tape, and then um, uh, you could use the recolor menu, and you can change uh, it's, it's color. You could also change the brightness and the contrast of it. So it gives you a little bit more flexibility than just a standard um, PowerPoint object. And that's it. That's how you create transparent tape in PowerPoint.